Hello and welcome to Maths with Jay. So we're looking to find x in this equation. Now it's a good idea to think about what the answer is going to be before we even start. So the equation is telling us that 3 to the power of something is 17. So let's just look at our powers of 3, ones that we know about. So we know that 3 to the power of 1 is 3. 3 squared, well that's 9. 3 cubed is 27. And that's really as far as we need to go with that, because we know that the answer that we're looking for, 17, is somewhere between 9 and 27 which tells us that the power that we're looking for, so the, the 2x minus 1, so we've got 3 to the power of something, which is 2x minus 1, and that's got to be in between these powers over here, so somewhere between 2 and 3. So we can write that down like this, 2 is less than 2x minus 1, which is less than 3. So that's telling us that the power that we're raising 3 to is somewhere in between 2 and 3. And then we can simplify that inequality. We can add one to both sides, well, to all three parts of it. So then we get that 2x must be somewhere between 3 and 4. So the value that we're looking for, x, has got to be somewhere between 1 and a half and 2. So we could, instead of writing 3 over 2, we could write that as 1.5. So that's quite a good idea to start off by doing that, so that when you get your final answer, you can check whether or not it's a sensible answer. So let's put that to one side and think about how we're going to solve the problem. Well, there are two methods. Both of them involve logs. The first method is one that you can use if your calculator allows you to choose what base you're working in. And the second method is one which you would use when your calculator will only work in logs to base 10 or, na or natural logs, log to base e. So we'll start off by using the method which is simplest to use, and this is where you're thinking about logs as being indices. So that we can say that the index here, which is 2x minus 1, is equal to the log and the base is this number here that we're raising to the power of something, so that's 3, log to base 3, of 17. And then all we need to do is make x the subject, so let's start off by adding 1 to both sides, so that 2x is going to be log to base 3 of 17 plus 1. And then divide both sides by 2, to get what x is, so that will be log to base 3 of 17 plus 1. So let's key that into our calculator. So we could key this in as a fraction, and then use our log to any base key, and we want base 3. And then to get to the bit in brackets, we'll use our right arrow key on our replay button. And then we want 17. And then we need to use the right arrow key. And then plus 1. And then the down arrow. And we're dividing by 2. And that should give us the answer. So equals gives us 1.789450962 and so on. So rounding that to three significant figures gives us 1.79. And then we'll do the usual sort of checks on our calculator, we'll want to check that the actual answer that we got on the calculator is correct. 
that should give us exactly the answer 17 and then we'll put in the answer 1.79 to check that we get approximately 17. So we want to check the exact answer first of all. So remember we're checking the equation 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 equals 17. So our x is this 1.78 and so on. So what we're going to do is key in 3 and x to the power of, so that gives us 3 to the power of something. And we're checking our previous answer, so we use the answer button. And then we're subtracting 1. And we do indeed get 17. So that shows us that our answer on the calculator was correct. Now the next thing to do is to check that our approximate answer also gives us approximately 17. So we could either go back and edit what we've just keyed in here, or we could start from scratch again. So let's do that. 3 to the power and then we want to multiply 2 by 1.79 and then subtract 1. So remember this time we're not, expect it, we're not expecting to get exactly 17 but approximately 17. And that's what we get, that's, that's fine. So let's just move that to one side. And now we'll look at another method. This method is one that you would use if your calculator only has log to base 10 or natural logs would work as well. But I'm going to take logs to base 10 of both sides here. So when we're taking logs to base 10, we don't need to write down the base. So when I just write down log, then you, will, uh, then you would understand that that means log to base 10. So taking log to base 10 of both sides, we get the log of 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 is the same as log of 17. And then using one of the laws of logs, we can bring down the power, so the 2x minus 1 multiplying log of 3 is equal to log 17. And then all we need to do is to isolate the x. So first of all we'll divide both sides by log 3 to get that 2x minus 1 is log 17 divided by log 3. And then we'll add 1 to both sides and divide by 2 so that we end up getting that x is a half of log 17 divided by log 3 plus 1. So let's key that into the calculator. So we want a half, first of all, so one way of doing that is to use the fraction key and then the right arrow key on the replay button and a multiplication and then an open bracket and we are going to divide one log by another log, so another fraction there. And this time we're taking logs to base 10, so we're using the log button and we've got 17. And this time we need to be careful here, the log has given us an open bracket but not a closed bracket. So we need to put the closed bracket in and then use the down arrow and another log. And again, remembering once we've put the number in to close the brackets. And then we use the right arrow key before adding on the 1 and another bracket. And that should give us exactly the same answer that we had before, which it does.